Now you'll notice that when I put the glue in for this curved strip, um, I marked along the back with a pencil and then I put the glue towards the back half of the strip. So when I put the strip in, it didn't squeeze out of the front here. Um, if any glue does squeeze out of the front here, run a cotton bud along it quickly and clear it out before it sets because the flexible side panel will eventually glue into here and if it's if it's full of oozed out glue that's dried it won't sit properly so the next step is to glue these strips into the top panel um, i had to file the ends just a little bit to get them to go in The other thing I'm going to do is um, just file the sides of these at an angle so that as the key box goes down it, it just self-locates like this. Just, just a little tiny bit, not much. Okay, so I'm going to just wax them now which I've found in the past works really well as a kind of lubricant. I'm just rubbing it with an old candle. <coughs> now you see how much easier it goes? There we are. If you've got some spare wood, um, it's worth gluing a piece here another piece this side and another piece in there this end opposite these little holes which are marked and marked here and here they are for um, mounts for straps if you want to fit a strap and put a screw through here you need something a little bit thicker to uh, for the screw to bite into the crank motor makes a kind of uh, clicky noise as it goes past the poles of the motor and I don't want this sound box to amplify that sound so I've packed this side compartment with slabs of packing foam. I'm also going to put a piece in there. Uh, right so next thing, final thing this side is to fit the side panel. Now I've already test fitted this I would leave enough slack in this cable so that you can just extract the motor like this should you wish to ever change it, which makes life easier. Then run the cable through here um, and the main thing is to, to bring it up and bring it out through the, uh, if you look, hang on, bring it out through this hole on this side not this one so it's out of the way of the USB cable which tends to hang down this side so I've soldered these on so now I'm going to snap them into the backs of this plug and then with the two bolt holes I'm going to bolt it in here like that making sure triple checking that 
the wires mate up with the correct wires in the plug on the key box. So the orange to orange, white to white. So these, again you have the, the curved rounded side upwards. Feed it in, it should just go click. There we go. Obviously you fed it, feed the wires through here from the back so that this thing goes into there like, like that. So that's screwed in now, like that. So now we need to check to see whether the uh, two plugs engage. Bring it in at an angle. Okay, so far so good, give it a push. Yeah, they seem to engage pretty well. One thing I should point out is this panel is not uh, reversible. There's a very slight difference at the end here. So do a test fit first. Don't over tighten them otherwise you might split the wood. Now this is a refinement that I've um, decided to add. Um, these two panels help locate this. See there's a tiny little bit of movement there. So what we do, we have these panels. You glue them to this. So this line here is level with this edge and in fact they'll just butt up against these two bolt heads as well like that this edge is, is flush with this edge so I would glue it in place clamp it and then just for good measure I've given you two holes here and here you can put a screw through or a small bolt and what these do, and the one on the opposite side here, is when this is docked, it, it just sort of acts as a guide and it just stops any sort of slight rattling there. It just stops it, it just locks it, holds it tight. And that's all they do. They also cover up these uh, tabs and they just, I think, they just make it look a little bit. A little bit neater overall. 